Okay, actually that should be fine. Alright, let's keep going then. Okay, yeah, so last we left off, I was beating up this guy a bunch. Um... Yeah, easy fight. Yeah, so... We're level 34-ish now across the board, so that opens up a lot in terms of magics that I can gra grab. I believe we got the Levistone, yeah, so we can get an airship too now, so we'll just get out of here now. Trap tile, pack of zombies and such like that there. No real big threat. We'll just beat these guys up real quick. <clears throat> That's fine, they're not hitting any of the mages. Surprised actually that that I still went that late in the turn order, but Oh wow, more surprised actually that everything just didn't just die right there. Uh, but easy enough. Alright. Ice Gigas I believe is unrunnable, but we'll just beat him up. And we're good. And a few more tiles. Oop, not that one. This one. Okay, grabbed all the chests out of here, I believe. Okay, so we'll just go up and... Well, almost to the exit. Oh, we'll just use the gauntlets and Fera. Okay, Monk losing out on a little bit of EXP there. That's fine. We didn't, that's what, eh, EXP doesn't matter too much considering how much I just grinded on the eye, so. Okay, and a free gold needle. Alright, and we're out of there. Okay, and then we tent. And we'll make our way back out. <clears throat> yeah, so actually part of the reason why I stopped on an even level is I because I believe if I remember mechanics correctly or if I read correct correctly the f uh the warrior when when he be when he class changes doesn't earn mp unless it's on an odd level or some it's something weird like that i think or it's something maybe with his magic magic so he can start learning some white magic so works out that and i didn't earn such an exorbitant amount of exp XP that I would instantly level up anytime soon, so you just get don't have to worry about missing out too much. The other nice thing too is that I believe compared to other versions, the level cap did get increased to either 99 or 100, up from 50 in the NES version. So we'll just make our way out of here and back onto our little lovely boat. And we're going to trade this in for an airboat. <clears throat> so... Oh, I don't... I don't remember if there's actually a dock closer to where I'm where I'm remembering where the airship it is or not. I think it's... No, I don't think it's that. I'm pretty sure it's in the tip. Here we go. Yeah, there. That's what we're looking for. All right, so we'll just leave the boat parked there. Uh, blue centipedes. Not fun. That's all right. We've got plenty of antidotes. Okay. And cutscene. 
because buried here in the desert is an airboat, which is a lot better than a sea boat because it can fly. I'm not quite sure how putting the, that little levy stone on um, on the sand causes the airship to rise out of the desert. I figure you need to put it on the airship first. But whatever, I'm not questioning it. It's Final Fantasy. There are cannons on that thing too, so I don't know why we don't armorize, we don't weaponize this thing more. Okay. Airship. Okay, and then we leave our boat behind forever. Okay, actually, where were the islands I was wanted to go to? It's okay, so west a bit and then east a bit. Okay, we're hello, east a bit, then south. I don't know car, no directions to save my life. Uh, let's take it some time to explore all these islands then. I don't think there's any encounters in here, but maybe we can just raid these little dragon dragon dens. Dry ether. <coughs> what does a dry ether do actually compared to a regular ether? I should actually sell some of this stuff. Oh, fully restores MP. Actually, that's really good. Bound to be a landable tile around there somewhere. Try again, what do you have to say? Hmm. Okay, so they're all telling me. Oh, wait, what is this now? Oh, I think actually this is Bahamut's cave. Go down that hallway, go back up this hallway, yup, Bahamut! Alright, class change time. Hi, Bahamut! I think one of those dragons said something about the token don't let its appearances deceive you or something like that. Like that. Alright, last change obtained. Okay, whoop. Actually, let's take a good look. Okay, so our fighter has a ponytail. Our our master monk has a ponytail now. I'm just taking a little quick look at everybody's stats. That's not bad. some more caverns. Okay, there's nothing in this one. Go figure. Nope. One? Nope. There we go, D-pad. Okay, let's go this one first. Let's see what's in here. 
door. Oh, elixirs, okay. The elixirs are good. Five hundred gill, cottage. Oh, hello. Hellfire Chasm. Oh wait, this is a bonus dungeon. Okay, so I don't need to go there for a while, if at all. Not gonna be probably doing it in this playthrough. Uh, da 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 da. Last one I think is this one. D-pad, please. Yeah, a little bit of money is doesn't hurt. Swimming cash though. Okay. Uh, uh, let's take a look at our map again. All right, so that's all the caves. Because it's basically, I could fight fiends at this point. I could also do a bunch of shopping now that I think about about it. Actually, go back and buy a bunch of the magics that I have. I have sell off some equipment. Yeah, I think that probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. What the heck is this sound? Oh, that might be the fiend. Oh yeah, that is the fiend. Yeah. Okay, tower. Sorry, just trying to get my bearings, figure out where I want to go. I guess we'll just start with Corneria. That's the Citadel of Trials. Uh, marsh Caves, a little bit this way. This is Elven Kingdom. Okay, sell some stuff. Sell a lot of things actually. Don't need that. Guess we don't need that. Sleeping bags, I have tents. More staff elixir. Healing staff might be useful. Actually, nah, I'll just use healing spells. Is there anything I can buy here? Nope. Okay. Smart. Magics. What do we have for magics? I already have all of that, or have what I want for those. White magics. What do we have? Uh, heal is nice, but I can probably get Healra later, or Healara. Uh, I think that's an exit. Yep. Oopsie daisy. Oh well. It's fine, we're just saving the backtrack so I didn't have to walk all this way. Item shop, nope. Uh, black magics, here we go. Have these. Uh, status healing, nope, okay. had any magics that I needed, so... <clears throat> There's Melmond. Okay, they have a bunch of strong magics here, so... Actually, let's see. 
Let's get Kilara on here. Okay. I don't think we need life. I think we can just do Phoenix down. So I'll just test. Um, Diaga is nice. Just undead damage galore. Fyraga. Oh, the teleport spell to previous floor. Okay, that's good. else I think I need here? Weapon shop? What does the weapon shop have? Nope. Uh, armor shop. I need an armor shop. I don't know that I actually want him equipping these gauntlets. Yeah, okay. And then... Sell that. Okay. So, we're good on defenses now. didn't open as far as chests are concerned for behind Mystic Key doors was probably Chaos Shrine. Is there any Chaos Shrine really worth me getting? Oh, I have an airboat so I might as well just go find out. Uh, where on earth am I? Blue featureless void. Uh, Northwest Castle, okay, so we go up and this way. And right around here. Okay, let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in some of these Too terribly hard. This is especially for its beginning dungeon. Oh, hi, spiders. Oh, well, I probably should have stayed at an end, but I can do that later. I'm in no real threat of dying here. already? That's a very distinct possibility, I can't even open these already. Goodness encounters, please. Uh, whatever. Gaze worm ram away. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. Gargoyles. <laughs> 
Wear Buster, Gold Needle, Trap Tile. Maybe faster just to run for this. There we go. Alright, so one more room to check. Preemptive strikes are good. More gargoyles! Rune blade. Okay, let's take a look at some of this equipment, shall we? I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Okay, rune blade. Spellcasters. Wear beasts. Uh, regenerating creatures in general, I think. Let's see. Yeah, didn't, didn't think so. Okay. Well, uh, let's see if this works. I think this is a one floor dungeon, so. Yep, and I'm out of here. Alright. Uh, map. Button. Okay, let's see here. looking for at this point actually. Hang on, I remember something I need to find in one of these deserts here. Is it that one? Oh yeah, this one and uh yeah. Sorry, I'm running through a speed run route in my head in my head to recall stuff I need to do and so sometimes I get confused on where I am and what I need to do. Uh, what town is that actually? That's Lufania, actually. Now that I look at it. Eh, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go explore a volcano. I can't think of anything else to do besides that. That. Let's just go explore a volcano. Crescent Lake, River, 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 okay, no, okay, yeah, so, no, I just want to see what the intended way to do that bit, it's okay, let's tent up a bit, okay, and then we'll just walk into here. This is actually not nearly as bad of a dungeon, uh, just because of the fact that walking on lava doesn't generate random encounters. And of course, as I say that, you know, I get into a random encounter, so... Okay. 
But yeah, so long as you walk on the lava tiles, there's not really too much uh, chance for encounters here, but we'll probably have a few encounters just because I'm going to explore some, see what some of these dungeon dungeons contain. We're in a fire dungeon, logic would dictate uh, many things weak to ice, but we'll see. Or we can just physically, we can just physically beat them up. I think this is actually one of those random encounters that you actually can't run from, which you would never know unless you, you either looked it up or played the game a lot. Okay. Fire elementals. Yeah, gauntlets and Lizara. There we go. Mithril helm. Oh, that's a nice helmet upgrade. Yeah, we're just gonna run from this one. Takes a little bit. Uh, Truthfully, I probably can't afford to run away from most encounters considering how, what the level I'm at. I'm at. Uh, and the amount of EXP I would get in comparison to it is probably not that worth it, but. Yeah, if the enemies are running away from me, then that means that I. What's it called? I'm way over leveled for work. For where I am in the game. Yeah, but these are, I think, most elementals are unrunnable, if I recall, so that's why I just gotta fight these. But fortunately, I don't have to go back over that tile. A little paralisk. I think these guys can st um, can petrify you, so best to just take it, take them out. These are jerk birds. There we go. Fire Hydra sounds like an oxymoron. Actually, that's a terrible use of Oxymoron. Okay, okay, this and lizards. Or he'll get this and lizards. There's a, just a random spike t uh, trap tile on that where I'm standing right there, or if that just happens to be where I ran into encounters a lot. Ooh, great oozes. Uh, I know oozes are bad. I can't remember. There's the great oozes and the green oozes. One is weak to magic. One is weak to physicals, and I can't remember which one is which. Weak to which. So we're just gonna run from from all of them. Yeah, I should be able to physical my way out of this one. 
One hit from the knight to the or the master monk should do it. There we go. Improvements really, so okay, we'll just keep using the ice brand then. Jerk birds. No, nope, we need to do magic. Actually, let's heal Lara here, and then we'll just cast some magic here. Really, the only reason why I'm taking all this damage is because I'm just taking all these fights, so... They're not too in here too much, I think that will actually kill me, so... And I have the MP to spare, so... Bit ethers and such, so nah, nothing too dangerous to worry about. Yeah, run for the giant blue setup aids. Yeah, I'm already gonna be walking on lava. Don't need to be taking additional poison damage on top of that. More treasure chests. Okay, we like for him to skin get out of here more easily that way. Encounters, 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 encounters. I think one of these had to be a trap tile. Actually, I probably wouldn't be surprised if the next thing I stepped on is it also a trap tile. I need money. Um, enemies in this game uh, not only give you exponentially uh, more EXP, they give you exponentially more gold as they go go higher as you go later into the game. So money becomes a kind of a moot point if later later on in the game. There's no real concern on whether or not I'm not going to be able to buy certain things there. Well, that's rude. Why don't you uh, paralyze my master monk? There we go. Let's see. There we are. Ooh, treasure chest galore. Okay. Treasure chest galore and spike tiles galore, I believe. Mithril, mithril, high potion. Tent. Lava worm. Dead lava worm. Kill these 
these guys. Oopsie daisy. physical from here. Take a look at some of our equipment. Ah, nope, still nope. Okay then. I think Mithril Helm is probably the biggest improvement I got out of this. Yep. Cool, I just got a bunch of items I can sell for more money. be a connecting path there, but okay, I just need to find an exit now. Alrighty. I think this should lead to a door. Hope this leads to a door. Dead end. Also a dead end, so we're going this way. This entire floor is on fire. I don't take a whole lot of damage here, so let's let's see what's this way. Uh, not a whole lot, it seems. Yeah, not a whole lot, it seems. Okay. I have a feeling part of this floor loops for some reason. Yeah, seems like it does, considering that, I think, this, yep.
There we go. Okay. Oh, that's rude. Probably should heal after this. Oh, I'll just do it now. Okay, good. The white mage went before the physical attackers killed everything. So, saves me one menu. Actually, I just realized it's kind of weird for Hill Gigas to be to be in a fire volcano. Let's see. Oh, stairs. Okay, that works. Heal everybody back up. Actually, we'll save since we're on a new floor. What's in here? Love worm. Just beat up this guy. Open that chest, gold needle. Okay, so not a whole lot in there. Preemptive strike, I'll just run. What's in this chest? More money. And what's up here? Well, Minotaurs. Uh, these are worth somewhat decent DXP, I think, still. I haven't actually checked the numbers on it, but might as well fight it since I'm here. That four damage mattered. Flame shield. Alright. Yeah, a lot of characters in this thing have, have an attack club plays, don't they? Alrighty. Down this way. And one more down this way, actually. I think I went into that room already. Preemptive strike. Actually, since I have the preempted, I'll just take the run. Okay, yeah, so this is actually, um, um, I vaguely meant, uh, mentioned that while I was doing the eye grind, that, uh, what I could do instead is actually just come here because that's a, that's a trap tile, and this is a trap tile, and I can actually just step back and forth between the those repeatedly, uh, repeatedly just to gain EXP because it's just what, uh, it's a guaranteed one fire lizard spawn. It's about 2,400 EXP, I think, thing there, and um, some amount of gold. But uh, the eye just works out better because I think it get gives 3,200 EXP, and then it also just gives me a lot more money. So. Okay, let's explore this floor a little bit. What's up here? More 
fire. Okay, fire guyuses. These make sense in a volcano. Hill guyuses do not. Giant dead end room. Okay. Uh, my worst enemies, one by one by one, back and forth. Mostly just because my D-pad is a little eh. Oh, link treasure chest. The fact that it's open. Oh, that actually might be. A, oh, this floor might not actually be worth exploring then if it's all link treasure chests. Fire elemental, I can't run from, so I have to fight it. Dead end. Not a whole lot, it seems. Actually, since I think this is the floor that the Fiend Chamber is on, what it probably is meant to do is probably just meant to, uh, meant to lead you around the, um, what's it called, the place until you can fi find the Fiend's Chamber, but... Yeah, if a lot of the chests on that floor are length, then I think what I'll do is I'll just um, just head straight to the fiend chamber. I should probably heal, actually. Yeah, I should definitely heal. I know this isn't unrunnable. I just ran from this earlier. There we go. This is also why I didn't buy the life spell, because I can just buy Phoenix Downs. Especially because the life spell just brings them back to 1 HP just like a Phoenix Down, so really no sense in, in buying in getting life, which uses and costs MP when I can just buy Phoenix Downs with my copious, copious amounts of gold that I have. What's it called? Too much gold and not enough things to spend it on. Okay, so we'll ether the white mage. That's a potion. Ethers. Ether the black mage. Oh, I'm gonna have to go buy more ethers later. Ether the knight for the heck of it. Used almost 20 ethers doing that. That's fine. So, this is probably one of the few points in the game where I'm about the level I'm supposed to fight the Fiend, which means with tempers in haste, I'm just absolutely going to obliterate her. Okay, punch, punch. We can gauntlet, and then let's... Let's haste first, for the heck of it. Haste increases the accuracy, it doesn't actually increase like agility or turn order, since that's... Well, I don't tr truthfully know what the how that's calculated, but doesn't matter a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. Alrighty, and then we'll heal up, and then we will temper the monk. Uh, uh, that's unfortunate, but not terrible. It just means I miss a few more attacks. Doing that. Wash, rinse, repeat. And dead Marilith. Light the second crystal.
Yeah, so this was that cavern I found on the Bahamut Islands earlier. Wouldn't have been able to go into the bonus dungeon anywhere. But... Alright, and we're out of here. Okay. Let's tent up a bit for all the for all that it'll matter. location. So that's two fiends down. I don't think I can go to Mirage Tower. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so... Elven Kingdom, Earth Cave, Northwest Cavern, Cornelia, Area Castle. Okay, so I need to go here next. That's where the sea shrine is, I believe. Actually, while I'm there, I guess I will go pick up the bottle. So, go this way. Sky Tower, okay, I'll we'll go this way. I think. Let's go this way some more. Uh, did I fly past it? Yes, I did. Oh, I was supposed to go... Oh, actually, I was... I was fine where I was, which is easy. Okay, back to the Palmet Islands. We just go west a bit ways. Okay, there's the boat. So we go north. I've just looped back around to Crescent Lake. Okay, Peninsula of Power, Lufania. Mirage Tower. Okay, Bahamut Islands. Keep going westward. Okay, there's the town I need to go to, which means this is the desert I need to go to. Can I not land on this? That's silly. Why can I not land on that? I should be able to land on that. That's mostly grass. I can't land on that either. Cool. So I have to land here. Giant's Tonics, we buy a bunch of these. And we'll just buy a bunch of these. We'll buy a bunch more of these. Yeah, probably don't need that many Giant's Tonics, actually. Okay, and then we'll go airship. It's 50-50. I don't know what the encounter what the encounters are like in this er area, but that's bad, I think. Yeah, that's bad. One measly gill. Okay, we'll go up here to this waterfall for excuse me. We'll go up to this waterfall first. Oopsie daisy. Not oh, preemptive, I can run. That's fine. Alright. There you 
into this waterfall and then we'll save. Yeah. So in here I think there are a couple of treasure chests and things that I can grab. Alright. I bet. I encounter. Encounters. run from the clay golems and then I actually fight the nightmares is just because the nightmares have a bit of much higher agility compared to the clay golems so I'm more likely to run from the clay golems in the first attempt than I am um, the nightmares I can run from the nightmares but it's usually more of a two or three attempt so in that time usually a bit better to just fight them and kill them I think that's supposed to put me to sleep, but I can't recall. Let's see how much the dam damage actually the black mage can do with the gauntlet, because I think he might have a bit higher magic stat than the white mage at this point. Or you know we can just kill them out, right? Okay, good to know. The Paralysis Gaze will just straight out kill you. Good thing to note for the future. Excuse me. Ah, uh, Phoenix Downs, here we go. Uh, let's just use up some of these potions. Wizard staff. The ribbon is is actually a good, is what I come is the important thing to come here for. Defender sword. Actually, that's another good one. Oh, Tiamat. Okay. But the defender sword is a nice. Uh, Sword upgrade there. So yeah, let's go with throw gloves. Cause... Okay, and then yeah, he can wear the ribbon for now. Eventually, I think everyone except the um. 
except the, I think I'll give everybody a uh, ribbon except for the warrior because, or the knight because in the base game there's only three ribbons actually um, that are easily available through like normal gameplay. Because there's one here at the waterfall, I believe there's one in the sea shrine, and there's supposed to be one more probably, I think in like Mirage Tower or something like, like that. But anyway, yeah, there's only three. Um, three ribbons in the game. There's four warriors, so um, they added one more ribbon, I think, to the bonus dungeons in this game, uh, which kind of bounces up, but the warrior just tanking damage uh, doesn't really need the ribbon in the grand scheme of things. Okay, let's sell some stuff here. I don't need this. Don't need that. Uh, I can sell some of these armor stuff here. High potion. Who needs high potions? I have Hilara. Giant stack. Oh, okay, let's not sell those. Yeah, those are those would be very bad to sell. Uh yeah, more ethers. shops. There's an inn. Let's see what's in these magic shops. Any magic shop? Hilaga. Yes, I want this. Saber. See, okay, this is why Saber is actually a useless black mage spell as an actual spell spell because it raises the caster's attack and accuracy it's self cast so this is why um the giant's gauntlet which i will need to find at some point works better because if i use it as an item the person that uses it casts saber and so i can give it to the monk to do that uh master monk to do uh use that on it there, but uh, in and of itself, Saber is a use the spell. Hmm. I'm missing something here. I should be able to go down this. What am I doing wrong here? Dude. Oh, I need the oxtail. Okay. I need the oh, that's right. Now I remember. Remember, I forgot to do something. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's go here, and then we need to fly. Where is that? We need to fly a general this way direction, so find the boat. So, find, that's right, I need to release that bottled fairy first. Here we go, this is what I was looking for. That's right, because I need to get the ox yell first in order to get onto that submarine. Actually, while I'm here, let's see what these guys have to offer. 
Yes, Blizzaga. We like Blizzaga. Where on earth is Thundara? How did I get every other spell except for Thundara? Kiraja. Ooh, me lucky. Protect rings. Protect rings only guard against instant death. I don't think they do anything else. I think a ruby armlet would be better served for me here. Okay, yeah, we'll get ruby armlets for the mages, and then cat claws not terribly useful. Really, a, a weapon shop that only carries cat claws. That's random as all heck. Okay, uh, la 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 la, that's a town exit, yep. Oh, lovely, I am back here. Wow, they give you, like, no warning on that town exit, huh? Uh, there we go, da, 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 da. item shop, here we go. There's high potions, uh, let's just buy some more cottages. Oh, that actually put a sizable chunk in my funds. Dent in my chunk of my funds. Oh well, it's not like I'm gonna buy any more equipment. Uh, this is a chapel. I think I went to those two item shops already. Magic shops already. Let's go back to that. Now uh, let's go back to the sea shrine. Uh, yeah, let's park it. Let's park it like about here. That'll be fine. Trolls are DC XP. Kill these guys real quick. Bam. Alright. Okay, now let's get on. Now let's talk to this mermaid again and then. Hi, NPC. Thank you. Bye, spooky ghost mermaid. Okay, we'll get into this barrel then. Get into this little barrel submarine. Sea Shrine. Alright, so I think we'll tackle this on the next part though. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.